Living with Yvonne Douglas. I'm Doug and today we're going to make something uh, really, really yummy and something really, really sticky and it's super sweet. It's Gorilla Bread, so stay tuned. you're going to need to make our delicious gorilla bread. So first of all, I bought here, this is um, Pillsbury Original Flaky Layers Grands. This is eight, this makes eight biscuits. This is that instant biscuit that um, you can buy at any grocery store. So I got two cans of that. You're going to need one package of Philadelphia cream cheese, a half cup um, of regular granulated sugar, and one full cup of brown sugar that has been firmly packed. You're also going to need a little bit of vanilla. I'm using Mexican vanilla blend here. And I'm using two types of nuts. Um, I'm using chopped walnuts and chopped pecans. But I'm gonna grind it just a little bit more because I don't want them so large. I want a little bit finer than that. And uh, I believe that is it. It's going to be super easy to make and it's super yummy and I hope you give the recipe a try. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, melt my butter and I think I forgot to mention. <laughs> you definitely need one half cup of butter, that's one stick. And so let's put that one stick of butter in here. We're gonna let that melt. I have a little saucepan there. And we're gonna be combining our um, light brown sugar. That's one cup firmly packed in our teaspoon, one teaspoon of Mexican vanilla blend. So I'm going to let that melt. And if you hear any strange noises in the background, I apologize, that's my dogs. So I have little Winston in his crate and Simon is visiting him right now and making all these noises. <laughs> now, if I had both of them out, they would be going crazy with each other and playing. So I um, have to lock little Winston up for right now so I can do this video. So I'm melting this butter I'm going to lower the heat a little bit. We don't want to burn our butter. So let's melt that. And you can see my butter has melted. And now I'm going to add my brown sugar. And we're going to make sure that brown sugar uh, pretty much evaporates. We want it to caramelize and put that in there. I'm going to add my one teaspoon of Mexican vanilla to that. If you don't have Mexican vanilla, you can use regular vanilla. I just like the Mexican vanilla. It adds a special little taste to it. So I'm going to stir this slowly, keep stirring until that sugar breaks down. You really want to make that well blended. Mm, it smells so good with that Mexican vanilla right now. 
Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to, we want to get our half cup of granulated white sugar, and I'm going to get three uh, teaspoons of the uh, cinnamon, and I'm going to mix those. I'm actually gonna do three and a half because I like a little extra cinnamon. <laughs> three and a half. And I'm going to mix that up. That is our oven that has been preheated to uh, 350 degrees. You definitely want to preheat your oven. You are going to need a bunt mold like this because this just makes it a nice presentation when you uh, take it out. And you will need some Pam Original uh, spray, just to spray it, even that this is non-stick, but you still want to use that. All right, so now we have our cream cheese. And make sure that you take your cream cheese out of the refrigerator, like, kind of like right before you start cutting it up, because if you leave it out too long, and it becomes room temperature, it'll be really, really hard to cut. And you want, you don't want that. <laughs> so you want to open up your cream cheese and you're going to cut this into around 20, let's see, this is how many's on here? Eight. So we're gonna do around 16 uh, squares. So I'm gonna do a four by four. best I can. <laughs> See, it really is important that your cream cheese is not room temperature. And then one, two, three, four. So four by four is 16. Mm, I love cream cheese. I want to get my nuts. And I'm going to be using I'm going to be using a third of a cup of the chopped walnuts, and I'm just going to just do it a little bit. I almost want like chips. Yeah, that looks good. And if you have some larger pieces in there, that's okay. And then I'm going to do a third of the pecans. You think they would have the bags easier to open. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm going to do about a third. And you just want to do it a couple of pulses. If you had a food processor, that would work too. And so you will have some larger chunks and some smaller chunks, almost like that. All right, now those are not all the nuts we're going to need because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So in my button mold, I want to spray, make sure you spray it. <clears throat> you wanna spray it well. And I'm gonna use the mix of the chopped pecans and the chopped walnuts, and these are the full ones. So these have been chopped, and I'm gonna sprinkle the bottom with some pecans and some walnuts. Now, if you just wanted to use walnuts or if you just wanted to use pecans, you could, you can, but I like doing a mix. Okay, that looks good. All right, now let's start on our biscuits. So with our biscuits here, we wanna open it up, and I always, have a little problem getting it first open. <laughs> so it's to pull that little tab, and I always do that. Here we go. I think it's gonna come out right. See? <laughs> I'm telling you, it says lift the little tab thing. Okay, Pillsbury, can you make it a little bit easier? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. It will open. Hey! <laughs> See, that always scares me. All right. <laughs> All right, so. 
<laughs> Let's take out the the biscuits. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm sorry. That just kind of freaked me out a little bit. I'm gonna do half at a time. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what you want to do with your biscuit is you're going to flatten it out. You want to just flatten these out a little bit. <laughs> And then I'm going to sprinkle some of that cinnamon sugar on it. Yum. And then put a clump <laughs> of cream cheese and you're just going to close it up. You just close it up. And what could be better than biscuits and cream cheese, right? So yummy. All right. So this is probably one of those fattening desserts. <laughs> Or you could have it for breakfast. I know it's very popular. And I've made it before, and it's very, very yummy. But you don't want to make it too much, if you, especially if you want to lose weight. <laughs> so, but you know what? Yvonne was wanting some dessert this morning, and he goes, when you go to the store, get me some, um, give me a cheesecake or something like that. And I was like, hmm, why don't I make some Gorilla Bread? Because he loves cinnamon. He loves cinnamon, so. And you just kind of fold it up like that. So once again, let's show you. Kind of spread it out like that. So sort of like it's a pizza dough. <laughs> and then you're going to you just spread it out and get some of that sugar, sprinkle it on, and then get a clump of the cream cheese. And just wrap it in there. Kind of put it together like that. All right, yum. So I'm gonna keep doing that and you wanna open up your second one. <laughs> and hopefully I won't get scared on the second one, but. <laughs> and then what I like to do is I'm just going to roll it a little bit, all the different uh, balls, if you wanna call them, in the cinnamon, in the cinnamon uh, mix cinnamon sugar mix, I should say. And it's gonna be so yummy, folks. And you can make this, gosh, any time of the year, really. I know a lot of people like making it around Christmas time. Um, this is something that I just feel like you can make any time of the year. And notice I'm just spinning those around in the sugar like that. Quickly. Okay, so if you remember, I sprayed my bundt cake. I added some of those nuts. Those, these are just the um, chopped walnuts and the chopped pecans. And now I'm going to add my sticky buns at the bottom. All right, just like that. You do want them touching a bit. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so we're going to add that. And we're just gonna make layers, right? So now I'm going to add the uh, butter mixed with the brown sugar. I'm stirring that up a bit. It's still warm. And I'm going to drip, just drizzle. And now you can see why you definitely got to spray that pan because of this. It's going to get really sticky. And then you'll invert the pan, by the way. That's why we wanted those whole nuts on top. And now we're going to get the ones that have been grinded up a bit and sprinkle that on top. See that? Yum. It's going to be so good, folks. Okay, and now we start with our second layer. Maybe sprinkle a little bit more of that sugar, like that. And then, once again, add that butter with the brown sugar and the Mexican vanilla. Don't forget that Mexican vanilla, yum. Mmm. So yummy, folks. 
Okay, now our nuts again. And then we got a few more. Stick those in there like that. Make a little bit more of that cinnamon sugar mix. And then really add the rest of that delicious, mmm, that sauce, yum. Look at that, ooey gooey sticky ooey. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add my, the rest of my nuts. And since this would be at the bottom, I will add a couple of the whole ones. All right, just a few. All right, that's all it is, folks. See how easy that was? Now we want to put it in the oven and we're going to bake this. Now we're going to bake that for around 30, 35 minutes and it should be done. And I can't wait to take a bite. Okay, so while your uh, Gorilla Bread is baking in the oven, what you need to do is make your icing. So we're going to do some icing. See, that's Winston crying. It's okay, Winston, you'll be out in a little bit. All right, so um, we're going to have a half cup of powdered sugar and one tablespoon of softened butter. And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of milk whole milk, and then we're just gonna mix that real easy. Okay, so you do want your icing to be very drippy, all right, because we're going to be dripping it all over our Gorilla Bread. I'm going to add just a teaspoon of the Mexican vanilla to this. the color of it, it's not so white. And we're also going to add a little bit more of that, um, the cinnamon and the sugar mix. Just gonna add a little bit of that to that. A few pinches. sugar and cinnamon, maybe two more pinches. done and we're going to take it out of the oven. You want to let it sit for around five minutes before you invert it and we have this cake stand and I'm going to show you how to invert it in just a second. Okay, so here it is. Yum. So we want to wait about five minutes and then we're going to invert it. Put this on top, flip it over and then hopefully it turns out really well. It's been about five minutes and we're going to invert. Sure I don't burn my hands. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, let me actually I gotta take this off. Let's see, hopefully it worked. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of it. And see, the thing with this is like, you can't go wrong, you know? You can't, you can't mess it up. Now we're going to drizzle our little mixture over it. It is still hot, so it'll kind of melt. You might want to do it again once it cools down a bit but I gotta have a bite pretty soon. I can't go much longer. <laughs> uh, yum. Just pull it apart. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. And with the cream cheese inside. Mmm. So good, guys. 
and super easy to make. I hope you give it a try. Thank you for joining us on Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas today. Remember, if you want that homely vibe, you need to subscribe and please give this video a like. Until next time, my friends, happy healthy living. Bye-bye.